Hello, this is John. Welcome to another video. And today I'm introducing you to one of the nicest features, I think, in Premiere Elements 2025, which is in the bottom left here, the Quick Tools panel. Um, these are some of the tools I think you'll probably want to be using the most. And they're very handily located here, fixed to the left of the timeline. You can actually undock the panel if you want to and have it floating around. But I think it's best left here in the fixed position and they're always readily accessible. So the first tool is the um, selection tool or the pointer tool as I call it. And you're probably familiar with this from other programs. You can select individual clicks, clips by just clicking. You can move them around to another track if you want to. Um, you can um, right click and bring up the contacts menu on any clip. Um, let's put that back into the correct position. And you can drag a rectangle over all the clips to select all, something like that. So that's the, um, um, the selection tool, which can be activated with the letter V. The actual symbol is like an up, upturned V sign. That's an easy way to remember it. And another tool that I use pretty pretty frequently is the scissor tool. And that's the letter C on the keyboard for cut. Another easy way to remember it. So if I just go to the, um, the scissor tool here, um, I can move to any particular part of a, a clip like that and then just click in the timeline and cut and um, I can go back to the selection tool and delete that um, first bit that I don't want. That's the um, selection tool and the scissor tool, the first two that I want to show you. These next two tools are track forward and track backwards, and it's a quick way of selecting things. So if I choose the track forward, you can see I get these two arrows to show that it's active. And if I click on this first track, it will select that one and everything that's going forward. Um, so let's just click away from that. And then on this next one here, this is track backwards. If I was to select the middle track, and it would select the one before it. If I was to select, select the, end one, the end one, it would select everything. So two very useful tools for making selections along your timeline very quickly. I think you're going to like this next tool. It's called the Rate Stretch Tool, and it's a very easy way to introduce slow motion or to speed up your footage just by dragging. Um, if I drag, um, this is a piece of um, video footage from the Paris Olympics, and um, if I drag to the right to extend the clip using this tool, it makes it slower and you can see I've really slowed down the um, the footage for effect. And uh, you can do this on a part of your video on a separate track or on the entire video. And uh, conversely, if I drag it to make the clip shorter, it massively speeds up the action. And here we go, as you can see. So very easy way to use this rate stretch tool to introduce slow motion or rapid fire motion into your videos. The next tool is the Ripple Edit tool, and this is one of my favorites in Premiere Elements, or the new Premiere Elements 2025. And um, it lets you um, drag pieces of um, footage on your timeline, and it automatically closes the uh, gaps to ensure no drop frames. So if I hover between two clips, you can see the cursor changes to a yellow, either pointing right or pointing left. And if I drag this uh, clip to the left to shorten it, everything is automatically moved up along the entire timeline. Um, if I go back to the um, ordinary selection tool, you can see we can do the same, but this time we don't get a yellow icon, we get a red icon, and left and right the same. But if I just drag this up now manually, we're left with this gap, and that would then mean selecting this manually and moving it up or using the, the backspace key between the two clips. So the Ripple Edit is a very powerful tool. The Rectangle tool let you create your own graphics for titles, etc., or captions. And it can also be used to place behind one of the um, text templates. If I go to this panel uh, here, I've used this um, top one here, which just says, thank you for watching. And it appears very bright or over a very bright part of the video. 
and it's virtually unreadable apart from the two heart shapes that's um, at either end. What I can do is I can drag this um, rectangle over the and we want to change the color back to something like a light gray and click OK and then I want to drag this shape down the below the and you can see the text now and uh, if I drag it down like one more you can see the first heart and I'm going to drag the second heart up again up the stack so you can see we can achieve something that's much more um, watchable um, just by using the rectangle tool and the, um, the, the the adjustments in the title and shapes panel so when we play this you can see it comes in and um, is much more um, readable than just on top of a very light video. That's the rectangle tool. To create your own um, custom graphic just simply drag in the main window on a blank piece of timeline and again we can um, make this any color we um, we want. Let's try this and then let's um, add some text onto it. Um, let's just put um, 99 John tutorials and again you can highlight this and make the make make the font um, any color that you that you want so something like that and you can also give it a stroke if you wanted to um, um, let's give it a red stroke just for the sake of the demo and you can change the size of it and clicking away and you can see it's um um, not the best idea, but anyway, anyway, it's a black font with a red outline stroke around it. And that's just to give you an idea of how you can create um, your own um, custom graphics, titles, captions. I've missed out an L there, so I can put that back in. Click away and close the panel, and there we are, it's done. That's um, another example of using the rectangle tool. The T tool is obviously for text and it's fairly straightforward. You can click anywhere within your um, main uh, video window, the um, program monitor, and start typing. If I put something like Christmas, you can see we have the um, font that's um, already um, selected, I think, from my last video. Uh, we can drag across this to um, select it all and highlight it. And we can then change the um, font to any of the installed fonts. Um, let me see, what should I go for? Let's go for um, something like this, Adobe font. And um, let's make it uh, bold and clicking away from the video frame. And there's our text. So it's fairly straightforward, the T-Tool, self-explanatory. It automatically creates this Titles and Shapes layer and you can see the um, the text here you can change that at any time and you can change the um the the, the colors and you know under the appearance tab etc in the in, in in the usual manner that's the t tool within the quick tools panel and finally we have this um, remix tool which um, is very useful quite often if you bring a song into one of your um, productions it's way too long for the actual footage um, as you can see i've brought this um, dance track in for this particular video and if i move along the timeline you can see how huge it is and what this um, remix tool does is it matches the um, um, the, the music beats and um, transitions that it automatically creates to the length of the track that you that you need so i'm actually going to use the um, scissors tools first of all to cut most of this out. I'm going to make a, make a cut here and then select that part to the right and right click and choose clear. So that's gone. So I'm just left with a smaller portion now to use this remix tool. And you simply click, click until you see the um, action on the end of the clip and just drag it in like that and release it. And um, you see these squiggles along the Along the music track, this is where the automatic remixing has taken place and music transitions inserted. And um, if I play this, it also fades it out quite nicely. 
So that's all the tools in the uh, Quick Tools panel. Um, say whichever panels you have open in the left or the right, it automatically springs back into its position um, and maximizes the use of the the timeline, keeping the, the tools here for regular use. I think the Quick Tools are a big asset in this version of Premier Elements, and I hope you like them too. So until next time, thank you for watching, and bye-bye.